We're standing outside of Grant Lab, one of the several buildings on CC80's campus, and yet very few members of the student body are aware of the building, and even less know the history and the rumors behind its mysterious second floor. My documentary team, consisting of myself, Shadow Wolf, Ali Gilly, and Miranda Long, will be investigating the building, learning more about its history and the haunting rumors that surround it. The first person to talk about the Grant Lab's haunting with our documentary crew was CCAD's own Dwayne Todd. He gave us a base of some of the history he knew and told us how we might gain access to investigating the building. From there, we decided to gather more history and background before diving into the investigation itself. Uh, thank you very much for meeting with me today, Leah. Uh, so I was just wondering if you could tell us a little bit about the history of Grant Lab from what you've gathered. Um, so the building was built in 1912. I'm not quite sure as of now what was initially in there, what it was originally built as, but I would probably assume that the apartments that are upstairs were original to the building. So by 1989, at least according to the CCAD maps, we had rented the building and converted it into classrooms. In order to gain access to the lab, we'd have to stop by security in order to get permission, as well as have someone escort us there for safety purposes. I stopped in and spoke with security director Wallace Tanksley, and while talking, he began to give me a bit of an oral history on the building, as well as some of his own experiences. Unprepared, I pulled out my phone and recorded what I could. Um, I don't know, I heard people died up there and everything, but we had a ghost company come here mm -hmm. and they they um, went up in there and they put readings up there and Dwayne was there at the time. I've heard them, I heard a name come through, there was no one up there I would know or anything, it was all locked off. I heard a name, a guy was saying James, we could hear the voice, and the, and the ghost people said out of all the places they had been, they got the highest reading up there in that room. Escorting us to and throughout the building was CCAD night security officer, Rhett Leisure. On the walk to the building, Rhett explained that she herself had done several investigations of the building, and at one point had done an investigation with a friend who had served in the military. After the investigation was through, the friend said he had never wanted to go into the building again. This set the tone for the evening as we approached the building with excitement and a little bit of anxiety. You guys excited? Yeah. Nervous, but excited. Are you scared at all? No. A little bit. I'm gonna try and breathe. Oh, I missed the opening. Two, two. Okay. Four. One of the main tools we're going to be using in our investigation is an electromagnetic field detector, or EMF detector. This is typically used to survey a building and see if there's exposed wiring or anything emitting a strong electromagnetic field behind walls or beneath floors and above ceilings. But paranormal investigators believe that this can pick up an energy that spirits emit. Now, if held in the same place, it shouldn't beep, and if it does beep or it fluctuates, this would be considered an anomaly and something to take into consideration. If there is a presence in the room that is making my EMF detector spike a little bit, um, would you please uh, say something or anything to us, anything you'd like us to know, you could tell us your name, um, anything you'd like.
Are you making are you making that happen? Can you set it up a little bit? And then can you step away? Thank you. This is so bad. My camera's super dark right now, like the eyes of the mountain. This way? Okay. Yeah, this way. Oh, okay. Look at that, though. That's a spooky hallway. Oh, that's an old light, too. Older. Watch your step right here. It's an old pack of tomorrow tomorrow on the ground. Old bathroom. Ooh. Toilet's gross. We're gonna be careful. Oh, what? <laughs> Where is she? <laughs> oh, boy. Well, this is, this is a lot of space, but yeah, it you can fit like work. 15 or more classrooms. <laughs> oh my god, bird skulls! Awesome! Wow, placed there. They are no. placed. Can yeah, I have them? I'd leave They're them. so cool. Those are really pretty though. Oh man, nice. Oh wow, there's lots of birds and stuff. Look at the ground, it's just picking up walls. Yeah, step, step gently. <laughs> Ooh, it's a little colder right here. Do you feel like Yeah, it, it is. Because mm -hmm. we're right next to this window. Is it exposed? It's a pretty big window. Can you go on? Or is uh, it I'll on? turn it on. Hmm, didn't like that noise. Yeah, well, go ahead. Hello? I think it might have been the creaking of the floor. Mm -hmm. Goddamn. There's some breaker boxes. You know, I bet this place looks nice. Probably. So I don't really believe in ghosts, so this was like a fun thing for me, waiting for something to prove me wrong. As soon as I got in there, like, everyone was talking about this heavy feeling, and it was more like just eating asbestos in your mouth, just like dust everywhere. There's a bunch of dead, like, animals in there. But, you know, the only thing that really got me was when the thud happened, because that was different. That wasn't anything I could put my hand on, so I can't wait to see what comes out of this. Okay, so I was pretty freaked out like before we walked in there and then once we went in it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be but it did have a weird feeling. I kind of got freaked out by the sounds that we heard, the thump, and I heard like a couple creaks in the floor. So yeah, it was pretty freaky. Not as freaky as I expected, but it was freaky. Well going up in there into Grant I had some expectations. I psyched myself up a little bit more than kind of what was realized when we were up there. Definitely when we worked our way towards the back, could feel just a, a mood shift in general. And that's around the time we heard the thud and we had uh, you know, some real heavy spikes on the EMF. So hopefully we'll review the audio and the footage and see if we get anything. But if not, uh, it was just exciting getting to look around up there, find out what actually was there and clearly uh, why we're not utilizing it. So.